Right, so we're back for the final day in Krakow. We've gone home, we've rested, we charged our phones. Quite literally we've, rested. We charged ourselves. <laughs> we're back on the streets, ready to eat, drink and explore. It's our final push, so we're going to make the most of it. And already, the town centre is bustling, it's great. I love the vibe of this place, man. We've got some music going on here. So let's go and have a closer look. We're going to go back to that milk bar for food. That was delicious. Because, uh, yeah, that was that was really good. So we're going to go there, maybe get a couple of items because it's our dinner. Get some stuff to try. But let's go and have a closer look at what this is. This sounds interesting. Nice. these long selfie sticks is quite useful <laughs> I can see what it, this is all I could see that's all I could see yeah <laughs> I had to use the camera to know what was going on but yeah it's bustling man and this way okay cool we'll go we'll take the longer route but yeah the place we want to go to the at the milk bar at the bar milk I think it's pronounced that uh, that's closing at eight it's now about Quarter to seven? 25 past six. 25 past six. Oh, it's earlier than I expected. That's good. So by the time we get there, half six. So we'll have we won't be in a rush to eat. And we'll have our time to look for some food. That we want to try there. Definitely gonna give Bigos a go because I don't know if you remember, but I tried to I don't know if you've seen it, but I tried to cook Bigos the other day. Um, for like a food challenge kind of thing. And uh, that didn't really go to plan. And then uh, I uh, kind of wondered what Bigos would be like, you know, in a uh, in a normal sense of the word. So, in the well, say normal in in the traditional Polish way. So, yeah. It's so humid. It's a very humid day, but another beautiful day. So, yeah, we're hoping to uh, try some more traditional Polish food because that's what we're all about here on this channel. We try and stay traditional. We try and we try and eat in the more traditional places and do the more traditional things where we can. Uh, so yeah. You seen that pond? Oh wow! Hello, hello. Oh. Oh, that's nice. There's always something going on on the streets of uh, Krakow. We saw a guy juggling earlier. I wasn't recording at that point, but he was very good. Very talented yeah, guy. There were street dancers. Street dancers, right, we just saw them. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a mime on the corner. And a mime. It's a very bustling city. You know, if you want action, you've got it. If you want tradition, you've got it. If you want partying, you've got it. If you want interesting, funny people, you've got it. It's got it all in Poland, man. Probably want to get off the road, though. So yeah, horse and carriage. I didn't want to do that because from what I heard, they're like, uh, like 300 zloty or something stupid like that. I can't remember how much they cost to do that. But it's expensive. And so uh, I've opted out of doing that. And uh, instead, spend my time walking. But this is a very walkable city. That's awesome. Yeah. It's I don't feel bad for the horses though, you know what I mean? We're doing that all day. Then that's how people used to get around back in the day, I guess. 
But anyway, we're gonna go and find this milk bar, order some food. Yeah, it's just down the bottom. We're gonna order some food and then let's see what we get. Okay, people, so we, uh, we're we here now, back in the milk bar. And I've gone for the potato pancakes with goulash again because it was so good. But I've heard from this particular milk bar, this is some of the best you can buy in the sea. So I'm gonna give it a go here. We've also got some bigos, which is like a stew with um, sauerkraut sausages. If you wanna see the recipe, actually, I cooked it, but I just didn't do a very good job of it. And then we've got some a side salad. And then Tammy's got a pork cutlet with potatoes, with some dill on it. And there's the salt and pepper that I'm not gonna get confused with. And of course, we've got the compote again. So, how much did it come to, Tammy? It was 103 spotty, which comes up to just shy of 20 pounds. So that came up to just shy of 20 quid for all that, so that's really good. So, we're gonna dive in now and give you our thoughts. Right, so we're gonna try this now, people. Uh, you can't see Tammy because she just doesn't like to be filmed eating, which is obviously completely understandable. So, you might be able to hear off the camera what she thinks. So, if you wanna go in first, Tam, I'll try and tell you what she's trying. So she's going for the compot first, so let's go with that. It's good, isn't it? Very refreshing. Going in with the bigos now. She's trying this the proper Polish right? way. See what she thinks. Still not for you. Still not for Tommy. She's still not a fan. Um, what about the cutlet? Whilst she's trying that, I will try some of this goulash. I'll give you my thoughts. So, good pieces of uh, pork. Mm. Wow. It is a knife. Mm. That pork just tears apart. It's top tech pancake. So in a potato pancake. Awesome. I'm going to try the uh, Bigos now. I've never tried this the true Polish way, made by the hands of a Polish person. I've ordered any other amount of jars. So, mm. Certainly not a bit as vinegary, is it? No, definitely not. I'm going to go for the cutlet now, uh, which is like a pork bread. It's like on a, basically like a schnitzel. Really nice. Mmm. Mm. That pork is really tender. Let's go for some potato with dill. So we've got potato with some dill on it. I love dill. Oh, that's really good. It's really good. Oh, wow. Potatoes and dill. There's a bit of butter on it as well. Yeah. Got some horseradish here. I know Tommy won't want any horseradish, so I'll try the horseradish. Do you want to put the horseradish on your plate when you're ready? Mmm. Mm. It's not spicy horseradish. It's sweet horseradish. But it's really good. Really? It's got some cream in it as well. Fine. I'll try some of these. Uh, it's like a mixture of uh, grated cabbage and cucumber with dill. Wow. Oh, you like the horseradish? She likes the horseradish. That's an achievement. I've never seen her eat horseradish. This horseradish is normally hot. It is, but this is sweet horseradish. This is sweet. Is it carrots? Really? Is it horseradish though? Mm -hmm. Is it horseradish? That's horseradish. All in all, really good dish. Again, this place hasn't failed to uh, impress. Good atmosphere, plenty of people. Um, yeah, what can you say? Polish food at its best, really nice. Yeah, definitely recommend coming here. Hello people. So, as you can see, I've got my hair up because it's just randomly got hot again. <clears throat> Despite the fact it's now like 7 p.m. But uh, yeah, uh, we're at Father Bernatex Bridge. It's quite interesting. It's got like some interesting things going on. I'll show you close in a minute. It's a lovely backdrop. Krakow. So let's go and have a little closer look because there's some uh, interesting things over here actually. Just be careful not to go on the bike path. Oh no, I think that's a walking path. So in the same way that they do in Amsterdam with the locks, they do that here as well. <clears throat> Yeah, it's quite a popular bridge, apparently. 
nice little view of the uh, of the waterway there. Very pretty. And the uh, Pièce de la Résistance is the people straddling the bridge. A lovely piece of architecture right there. So we recommended this bridge, so we thought we'd come and have a look. But I'm a fan of the bridge for sure, but it's the views, man. These views. Really nice. Yeah. Certainly, uh, it's a good day for walking. With it being our final day, gotta get on this side. Thank you. I've got Tabby there as my guy telling me. Yeah, I've got Tabby there as my guide. And people standing in the middle of the walkway, stopping me from getting past. So I'm standing in bikes ways. Bloody tourists, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's not, not too shabby. Not too bad. Good stuff. Chaplasham. Just bumped into someone's bike. <laughs> Don't worry, it was stationary. I didn't knock him off. I'm not that kind of tourist, not yet. Not the one to try and interview the locals. <laughs> but yeah, that food was lovely. Really, really nice and filling. And it's nice to be walking across this bridge. I'm so stuffed. Tabby couldn't. Tabby wasn't a fan of the uh, Bigos, so I had to finish it, get my money's worth. I say my money's worth, it was only 20 quid. I've been delighted to pay 20 quid for that in England. But as it were, I ended up trying to finish it all myself, which was quite a challenge. But I did it in the end, so happy days. But yeah, Tabby's there on the bridge trying to get the shots. For the, uh, for the old photo album, and I'm here trying to get the shots for the uh, for the thumbnail. <laughs> Probably that won't be the thumbnail. Don't worry. I look terrible. I, I you know, I look like uh, one of those Swiss uh, yodel women. You know, the, the women that yodel with my hair tied back like this. I look like one of them, or a new age hippie. One of the two. Take your pick, or both. A new age yodeling Swiss female hippie. Don't worry, Tam, she's a little bit confused. There's context behind that. I'm sure you'll find out when you watch the video. If you watch the video, we'll be the only people watching it, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely stunning. I thought you were calling me a Swiss No, 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 I was calling myself it. It's what I look like with this hair. I want like a Swedish, Swedish woman. You don't even need to have the hair to look like one. I don't need the hair to look like a woman, no, that's true. But, yeah, lovely bridge. So, good choice by Tam. So, we're gonna um, we're gonna go and get some drinks soon. We've heard of a place called the I think I mentioned it before the Yuda Food Market, um, and that's quite that's quite nice apparently. There's quite a few options there, but I'm just so full. Could have a nice drink though, maybe a beer. The bridge is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's a cool bridge. It was recommended it by a family member. Okay, or by a friend. Yeah, friend. Yeah, so yeah, it's a good choice. But um, but yeah, we're gonna go and look for some beer or drink because I'm thirsty as well. Um, and yeah, see what the day takes us from there. So here's a view from the bridge without looking at me. So, yeah. Look at those padlocks, man. It's crazy. Yeah, we didn't know. And uh, these things up here. And yeah, very nice. Okay, so just got some traditional Polish ice cream. This is a uh, strawberry and uh, Cute little stick is uh, seven zloty, which is 50p, I guess. I don't know, I'm not, not checked that far. Mmm, there's little seeds in it, and it's made with, I think it's made with like proper strawberries. Yeah, so it's the, the, the traditional way. Let's try again. Mm. I think it's blended into some sort of like a puree, mixed it with cream and stuff, sugar. Mm. 
really good. So you can get this by the uh, by the bridge. What's this bridge called again, Sam? It's called Father Bernard Bernatex Bridge. Father Bernatex Bridge. So yeah. And it's from that stand just there. And it's from that stand. Yeah, Tammy's gone off and uh, well, but we're in the the food market now, by the way. <laughs> so this is the food market. We're aiming to go to this place here. But this is uh, <laughs> this is called a kutoc klatch. It's a Hungarian, so it's kutoc klatch isn't a uh, Polish word. It's a Czech word. I don't know what they call it here, but yeah, I, I know it to be kutoc klatch, um, which is uh, it's a chimney cake basically. And um, I first tried one of these in Prague actually, but um, yeah, I had. I think I had one in Hungary as well. I can't remember though, but um, no, I don't think we did, did we? We didn't have one in Hungary. No. But this one's uh, one in Prague, this one's uh, the more touristy version with the ice cream and stuff, and it's got bits of brownie and Nutella. So. It's got brownie bit inside it as well. Oh really? Wow. Just uh, look at that. It's rough. For a second, I thought I trapped a fly. You know. Cool. So uh, I'll go for the brownie first with the Nutella. Mm. Let's go for some of this Kudoch Clutch skin. Oh man, it's melting. It's similar to a donut. It's like a donut slash cinnamon roll. <sighs> Thank you. You're just going to unravel it. <laughs> mm. Good choice. Give me that because it's melting. Have it back. <laughs> so yeah, my fingers are completely terrible now. So I'll get Tammy's thoughts on it. I won't film her eating, don't worry. Uh, I won't. Uh... So I got your chin. I do apologise. I didn't get you actually eating it though. What do you reckon? Good. I like the ice cream. There's a the brownie. A bit of brownie in there. Just so. Oh, that's that's nice and in there. Look at that nice. quality. What about the actual um, skin of the stuff? Let's get right in there. That's it. It's melting. Right so out you. Of my comfort zone. Why is that? <laughs> oh, you mean ordering it? Actually, ordered it on her own. So big respect, because my legs are dead. So uh, she went and ordered. She went up and ordered this on her own. She didn't go, to, go into Polish, but she didn't need to because they could speak English. What do you reckon? Mm. Nice. It's good, in it? It's got that cinnamony taste. Yeah, really good. Would recommend this from the Uda Food Market. And it's over there. It's called the Chimney... The Chimney something? Chimney and Chimney Cake Stand or something like that. Really good. Okay, so this is what we're here for. We came in for this burger. So, I don't know if you can see that. This burger's got like cold meat in it. Gherkins. Um, it's like what a mustardy mayonnaise. It? I think it's pork. Let me try. Mm hmm. Pull pork. Oh, yummy. Perkins. Let's do this. Wow, I don't even know how to begin. It's brilliant. Yeah, just some. Oh, wow. You know me people, I'm really lost for words. Not very often that happens. That is beautiful. It's very rich. You can taste some caraway in there, I think. And some paprika. The gherkins bring it all together with a bit of sourness. Mm -hmm. Creaminess from the mayonnaise. Absolutely brilliant. I'll let Tammy try. You just covered the camera. I know, I know. I've got. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm so sorry, people. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. I think just Tammy just turned on. What did I turn on? You turned on a setting to make it brighter. And we also got some cola as well. That's quite nice. I've got some lemonade, uh, like orange aid, and some apple juice. Not as nice as the Mirinda. <coughs> nah, the Mirinda's the winner. What do you think of the burger, Tam? 
This is basically pork pork sandwich. It's really nice. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't call it a burger. No, it's not a burger in the traditional sense, but I guess it has all the components of a burger. Yeah, but no cheese. Oh yeah, no cheese, but that's fine. We'll live. But yeah, right. this is what we came here for, to be honest. Yeah, we came here all the way for this. Well, I say all the way, we only had like two bus stops. But it was worth it, I think it's good. We'll probably make this one of our last foods, and then we'll go and get some drinks. But then there is also the uh, jack potatoes. Well, we had jack potatoes before, haven't we, at home? Yeah. We could just make them at home. So yeah, we'll probably go and get some alcohol after this, and uh, that'll be the end of the food tour side of things, I think, because, uh, yeah, we're... We can't we can't fit any more food in the bellies. But then again, it might change when we've eaten some food later, uh, drank some drank some drinks later. So who knows? <laughs> Tammy will probably walk past this. Uh, there's a shawarma shop we keep seeing, and we keep walking past it. Like, Tammy keeps got she keeps keeps her eye on it sometimes. So I have a feeling that's going to pop up eventually. But anyway, that's uh, that's the burger, and this is the joint here as well. It's this yellow food van, and it's in the Judah Food Market. So well worth going to if you if you're in the area. Hey people, so we're on the final day in Krakow, and. Uh, I thought I'd just finish off day three, well, the final day really of the trip with some thoughts and some uh, final words on the trip uh, because tomorrow it's a kind of a busy, not a busy day, but it's a kind of get up and run around kind of day. So um, today, obviously, I went to the zoo and we experienced traveling around the city a bit more um, and uh, Ate some really nice food. Tried some really traditional Polish food today. Saw some incredible sights. It truly an unforgettable experience. Um, Poland is an incredibly beautiful country with some very, very interesting history. And the people are wonderful. The food's great. The language is a little bit difficult to learn, but a lot of people do speak English. But I would recommend, regardless of where you're from, to give a few of the words a go. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about trying to learn the language. It's about trying to make an effort with the locals. You know what I mean? Think of it for yourself. Like, let's just say you're from Hungary, for instance, because I went there recently. And you have loads of people coming up to you, asking, trying to try and speak to you in English, which you probably already get, you know, when you, especially if you live in a touristy city. Like, it must be very frustrating. But if you get someone and try, trying to speak the language a bit there's a little bit more kind of appreciation there so i'd certainly recommend doing that um it's, it's gone a long way for me in, in poland and it's it's really made the experience more enjoyable to see the smile on people's faces um 10 out of 10 this place it's, it's wonderful i love everything about it and i'm gonna miss i'm gonna miss it but yeah tomorrow is gonna be crazy it's gonna be up we've got to be at the airport by about 9 a.m i want to go out and have a few drinks um, no point in getting that on recording because we're just gonna have a couple of drinks and come back and then um, <clears throat> and then yeah we're gonna be back into England for about 12-ish and then back on the train at about 2 back into our hometown of Peterborough for around about 4 o'clock half 4 and then home after we've got from the taxi at around about 5 so be a long day tomorrow but it'd be nice to get back get everything unpacked and to relax a little bit before I go back to work on the Monday. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, would definitely recommend anyone who's thinking about coming to come here. Um, definitely recommend going to Osvienchim as well. Certainly get on the trains as well. Try and avoid touristy stuff if you can. There are some touristy things that are worth doing, but you know, try and get on the buses if you can. It's a great, it's a better experience to do that. Travel around and whatnot. Don't just get taxis everywhere. You know, there's no point. It'll cost you more money and you won't enjoy the experience as much you won't get a feel for the city and its residents but yeah 100 percent recommend it so um i really hope you've enjoyed this uh this vlog this series um we're going to croatia in three months so we'll be doing that but in the meantime we'll be doing various we'll probably be uh, continuing our dying light stream we'll probably continue to do various other things that we see or want to do or try out so keep your eyes peeled there's always something new happening on this channel but we hope you've enjoyed it and please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do or don't, don't like, don't do it, don't do it, who cares? If you've watched it and you've enjoyed it, that's all we care about. So hope you're well people, hope you have a great day and thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, see you on the next one.